are you and the team doing to prepare for the rebound to be ready for the other side of this? Well, what we've done is we realized, you know, for us in our stage of growth, we were focusing heavily on product for the last 15 plus years, um, initially using the product for ourselves and, and then eventually into clients. And now a couple of years ago, we had a lot of demand for the product to be used outside of our, um, our ecosystem. So we focused on rolling out a new product line and now learning all these different things that we need to do to, in order to sell an enterprise class SaaS solution, um, something I don't have any experience with. And doing all that got us to a point where we understood what we needed, where we needed to go. And then this year kind of hit and we're like, okay, we now have to figure all that out and in a new environment. So we're able to put stuff in place. And build a sales team build a sales team, but first and more importantly, we needed management for the team um, because as a smaller company, I just don't have the bandwidth uh, to do that as well. So we ended up finding a, a senior vice president of sales, got them in place, trained them completely on, while we were working remote, um, and then hired our first couple of people, all doing video conferences and Zoom to interview people and, and find the first group for the team. And now we have a, a good start foundation for our team. We have a good process in place. And now we know exactly what we're doing moving forward as the uh, as the growth hits. The nice thing we've seen during uh, COVID is we've actually seen an increase in inbound uh, leads or phone calls because people are now have additional projects on their plate. They're working on different areas and fraud has become obviously a topic of conversation has been growing. We're finding that two thirds of all marketers realize that fraud is like one of the number one concerns of marketing. So those inbounds have started to pick up as people have had, you know, more time to do different projects and focus on different projects versus what some of my clients have been telling me is that when they were in the office, there's a lot of cooler talk, you know, meeting in the kitchen, having a cup of coffee, relaxing with people, which they enjoy having now working remote. You don't have that. So more work is getting done. And if more work's getting mm -hmm. done, okay, what can we do to start fixing some of the problems that we, that we just didn't have the time to fix. Mm -hmm. Nice, got it. So you've actually seen more inbound leads. That's great. Can I hear you with um, less um, transition time? It does create more space for work and projects that people might not have taken on. So they're using the time effectively to deal with fraud. Yeah. That's great. So how do you see your organization will be better for having had this experience of COVID-19? Well, it's, it's basically, like I said, it's forced us into a situation to learn new things, adopt where you're not physically located. Um, I do, well, used to do a lot of traveling for business, so trade shows, meeting with clients and stuff like that. So now we have a better process in management and reporting um, when I'm not in the office. So we definitely picked up a lot of tips and tools um, of how to run the business better uh, by being forced into a remote situation. And, you know, every once in a while we'll have different things happen where, you know, we've had it before in the past where, you know, the office will get closed rarely, but get closed for, you know, weather. Um, in Delaware, we don't get a lot of snowstorms, but when we do, uh, they tend to be pretty, pretty big, you know, and, and little snow will actually shut the whole town down. So we would have people work remote. And for us, that just meant, just tell me you're doing something. <laughs> you know, we didn't have any any way to, to make sure everybody was working or communicate with everybody. So now what happens is when we work in COVID, we would have a morning meeting. The whole company would jump on a, on a, on a call. We would just run around the office. What is everybody doing today? What did you do yesterday? You know, what's holding you back from getting your job done? Basic scrum style meeting. And the, the meeting would take roughly 25, 30 minutes to go around the room, get everybody's stuff, and then check-ins throughout the day. So we have a whole management process working remote. So now if we get some inclement weather uh, this season, we'll be able to deal with that in a more efficient way. Great, great. And I, I love what you're saying about being able to cherry pick what you did to have remote work work for your company now that you're back in the office. 